Right, we're going to work with the spacings of the windows and doors here. We'll start with windows. Okay, so we're going to just establish how many. We've got uh, four in total. So one there, one there, and one there where the W is indicated. And there's also a window here with no W indicated. I think this it was just left out by mistake. So we just have to assume that that is a window. Right, we have a door there, and we have a door there where there's UCD indicated. And then here we have a walkway. So this isn't a door but it is um, the spacing for uh, uh, either potentially a door, but it's more to have that sort of open feel. Okay, so we're going to go place these windows. We're going to look at the what we've been given in terms of placements, uh, dimensions. So this window is placed 1945 from this external edge. This window is placed 1195 from this external edge here. This window is placed 670 from the original external edge of the um, storage unit. And this window here is placed 200 from the external edge of the wall out along uh, towards the north. Okay, the door 400 from the external, 200 from the internal. This door is 200 from the internal, which would then obviously be 400 from the external. This door, this walkway is quite interesting. It's also 200 from the edge, and it's also 900 in spacing. So all your doors or walkways are 900 in spacing. And these two are exactly their, their symmetry, and they are parallel with one another. So we can, when we create the one, if we have the extension lines, it will create the other. Let's go ahead and uh, fill this in. We're going to start with 1945 from that external wall. So I'm going to go offset, 1945, enter. I'm going to grab this, pull it across, right? I'm going to go across over here and look at this wall, 1195 from that external wall. So... I'm going to click this. I'm going to, I'm going to do this manually. So again, before I forget, 1195. Click. While I'm in the command, 1195, instead of having to exit and re-enter everything. So there's one window in here, and I think it was 67, 670 from this external edge. So click on it. 670, uh, enter. Right. And then I'm going to come across here, and I think it was 200 from the, the external edge of the wall. It's 200. So I'm going to click on this. Come across to downwards 200, enter. Okay, what I'll do here is I'm just going to drag this along just to give us that spacing with, uh, ac across the wall that we need. Right, so all those are in place. Are those starting points for the windows? Now we need to go and give them the, the widths. The width of each one is offset command and it should be 1150 except for the smaller window at the bottom. So these are all 1510. Okay, so while I'm in the command, I'm going to go 1510, enter, click and drag, click and drag inward, click and drag inward here as well. And here, I'm, while I'm in the command, I'm going to click, right, and I don't know if we get given a spacing there. Um, we aren't. So let's go with, let's use our own proportion right here. So 967, uh, 967 from the external wall. This way, so what I'm going to do is go offset and 967 from the external wall, and then that should give us the placement. Perfect. Now we can go and trim all the edges and lines and what have you that we don't need, right? And then we can go and uh, work with the doors. So I'm going to trim these, enter. We don't need those, certainly don't have a window. We do have a window down there, no, we don't. There's no window here either, we don't need this line. We don't need that line. So just go clear up everything that is not required at this point. Right. Um, we don't need that either. Okay. So those windows are all well in place now. Okay. There we go. Just make sure two windows at the top, one window in the small section here, and then that window there. Right. Now we're going to have to create spacing for window sills. So we can remove all that. Remember. We'll have no solid line there as we're going to have window sills in that spacing. Let's go and add the doors in. Right. 400, it's 400 from the external, 200 from the internal. Now you'll see how the door here and the doorway will work together. So I'm going to go from, I'm going to use the internal uh, uh, wall and then go offset. Enter and I'm going to go 200. Enter. So there it is. You'll see how that then creates that as well. And then we're going to go click on it and then I'm going to go another 900. Enter, right, and I've got off this wall here also 200, enter, and then another 900. Click while I'm in it manually, 
There we go. What I need to do now is because I these window these lines are off the internal wall. I've just got to drag them. So if you use the external wall, then you wouldn't have this issue because there would be a line in place for you already. Okay, so there we go. A little bit sloppy and manual this, but it will work anyway. Right. There we go. Right, so what I'll do is go and trim those in place. So we know that our door will be in there. Good. There will be no need for a line across here because it's an internal door. We have an external door here, so we just need to go and trim the inside because we'll have a lip here as we walk into um, the uh, the room. Okay, let me go and control Z, go back here, and make sure that we don't. Let's start with trim. There we go. Do that again, excuse me, trim command. I'm going back because somehow I deleted the inside here. There we go. And if I come across here, drag that across. Now we can delete those. Now I've got the external doorway already in place. Okay, so there we go. Door, door spacings are in, window spacings are in. In the next video, we're going to look at how to add windows and we're going to use CAD blocks, free CAD blocks on the internet. So we're going to play smart and um, yeah, use what's already out there.